Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft, where today we're going to be taking a quick look at what's new here in Windows 10 Insider Preview Build 18282. This is the latest 19H1 build for the Windows Insider Fast Ring. Many of the features I'm going to be showing you may still change by the time they reach a release build in a future update. In the last release of Windows 10, the Snip and Sketch app was added to replace the old and antiquated Snipping Tool. Um, many people, including myself, think that the new Snip and Sketch app is a great modern replacement to the old tool, with new features such as the print screen shortcut, notifications, and of course, modern inking support. Um, while all these things are great, the app still lacks a couple of essential features, in my opinion, um, that the old app had, such as the Window Snip mode. I can fear no more, though, because in the Snip and Sketch app in Windows 10 build 18282, and for Windows Insiders elsewhere, um, the Snip and Sketch app is gaining the Windows Snip option, which is great. Um, you can see, though, I don't have it in my Snip and Sketch app right now, and that's because, as of right now, only 50% of Windows Insiders will be testing this new feature. Um, although I can't really show you it in person, right here, I can kind of show you what it's going to look like. Um, just like the old Snipping Tool app, um, when you activate into your window snip mode, the little toolbar at the top here will have a fourth option in between um, freeform snip and full screen snip, which is window snip mode. When you click on it, just like the old app, um, you'll go into window snip mode, which will let you take screenshots of individual windows to go into the Snip and Sketch app. Um, it'll work just like that, which is great. Uh, you've probably noticed already that the wallpaper on my computer is different. No, this is not yet another edit of the default Windows 10 wallpaper. This is actually going to be the new default wallpaper for Windows 10. Um, I think the wallpaper... Sorry. I think the wallpaper looks a little... <laughs> antiquated, but I think it's still... Nice. Other than that, it contrasts really well with the dark theme and with the light theme, so it's kind of a best of both worlds sort of look. Um, however, besides that, my biggest criticism, which still drives me insane, um, it is not centered with either the screen or with the taskbar. It's sunken down a little too low. I don't know, I, I'm 90% sure this isn't a design decision because the actual wallpaper is centered. It's just not set to center in the window settings. That can be very easily remedied by changing it. Um, but yeah, just my little feedback right there. Um, but like I was saying, to match the new Windows themes. If you go over here into your color options, you'll notice that in addition to both the dark and light theme, there is now a custom option right here. Previously in Windows 10, when you had the light theme selected, um, the apps in Windows 10 would appear light or dark, depending on your preference. Now, however, you have another option, which is your choose the default Windows mode. When you change this to light, the entire system, including the taskbar, the start menu, and all of the UI will also now be available in a frosted white glass theme, which is really nice in my opinion. Lots of people have wanted something like this, and I think this is a really good first step to implementing this into Windows 10. As you can see, it's basically just all the UI inverted. Um, you have the white backdrop with now black icons, however there might still be some inconsistencies as this is the first iteration of this feature. Of course the touch keyboard, yeah, that works too. Um, and I think there's another one here, if we go into Microsoft Edge and just go to boop boop boop, oh yeah that's right. I'm going to change Microsoft Edge to go ahead and match the Windows, uh, Windows theme. Is there a way to... no, it's just dark and light, okay, that's kind of dumb. Whatever. Um, if we go into the new, um, the printing dialog, it should now also be available in a light theme, which is wonderful. Um, in addition to just that, it looks like the title is now bolder than it was. Um, there are lots of new icons, which makes navigating this page a little simpler, um, because you sort of have an idea of what you're clicking on, like landscape and portrait, and some preview text that gives you a little bit more detail about what that option is for. So yeah, the new printing dialog, which is in Windows 10. It's great. Um, in addition to that, you also have new options in the Windows settings under updates. Uh, which give you more control over the updates that come on your PC, including a shortcut right here to pause updates for seven days, view update history, um, advanced options, and active hours. 
In active hours, you'll see that there's a new setting right here which will allow your computer to automatically adjust your active hours based on your PC's usage, which for me seems to be between 11 a.m. to 1 a.m., which is... Let's see, when is 11 a.m. again? People have pointed out that I get a.m. and p.m. a little mix up sometimes, but that seems about right. Let's leave it at that. Okay. Um, let's see, where was I? Oh, yeah. Additionally, in the Windows settings, there are now some new narrator options. If we go under Ease of Access and go to Narrator, um, we'll find a new option right here um, under How Much Content You Hear. In a previous release of Windows 10, a feature was added to allow you to hear characters read phonetically in the narrator. For users who use the narrator, um, feedback has been provided and Microsoft has changed the behavior of this feature so that that is now disabled by default. Now, if you want to have a characters read phonetically, you can access it on demand for specific text using a new keyboard shortcut. Let's go into Microsoft Edge here and test this out really quickly. Let's launch the narrator. Starting there. Start. Microsoft Edge window. Banner. Search. Windows narrator. Search box. Editable. Alt plus S. Flick down to change to suggestions view. Now that we have some text right here, let's go ahead and hit the narrator button, which by default should be the caps lock key, and double click on the comma key. Whiskey. As you can see, the narrator phonetically gave me an example of the letter W, in this case, whiskey. We can use other keyboard shortcuts, including the narrator key plus M, to toggle back and forth between characters left and right. Oscar. Delta. November. India. Whiskey. India. November. So for users who use this feature, this should be a nice and welcome change. And of course, if you think that this is narrator, terrible, uh, if you think that this is terrible and want to go back to the way things were, you can always turn it right back on here. Windows insiders should spend a few minutes when they encounter a new bug investigating it so they can provide more useful feedback about its occurrence. Check the feedback hub for known issues with your build under the announcements and search existing feedback to make sure your issue hasn't already been posted. Being more organized as a Windows Insider goes a long way to focusing on the issues that matter most. These builds can be unstable and may still harbor bugs that cause frustration or bog down the performance of your device. Um, be careful and think twice before installing these builds on a device you need for something important. Many of these updates, um, many of these features like I've discussed, will reach a Windows update available to the general public in the future. But until then, you can subscribe and check out onmicrosoft.com for more info. Additional links will be available in the description. Thank you, goodbye.